Joe, are you sure the film wasn't overexposed or overdeveloped? Frank, I've done this before. I know, but then why didn't it come out? I don't know. I checked the solutions, the temperature. Maybe it was radiation or something. How are we going to prove to Dad what we saw? You'll just have to tell him the truth. Why me? You're the oldest. Well, I'm glad you boys are finished. You can add your notes to mine so Callie doesn't have to type up separate memos. Where are they? Uh, we don't have any notes. Tell them, Frank. Fenton, your coffee. Thanks, Kurt. Have you eaten? No, I'm starved. I could eat a horse. Uh, first the report, then the horse. Fenton, they're growing boys. And I'm a man of growing curiosity, Gert. Well? We lost Tabor. That's it? Not exactly. Dad, you really don't want to hear this. Well, personally, I can't wait. Me neither. I'm all ears, boys. Well, there was this old road. It had sort of swerves and dips in it. And I'm afraid I scratched up the van. You scratched up the van. That, that's what this is about? Well, it wasn't Frank's fault. Dad, what would you say if I told you that we were run off the road by a disc, a flying disc? <coughs> I'd say that's the best story I heard since the F you got in volleyball was because your shorts were too tight. They were. But it's true. We were buzzed off the road by a UFO. Unidentified flying object? I think it's a polite way of saying they saw a flying saucer. No, there is no polite way. I knew it. Fenton, putting them under the pressure of your profession at their age was a mistake. <laughs> Hey, thanks for your monologue. We're here. I'm sorry, Joe. That flying saucer bothers me. It's something that's so far out left field. Hi, we're supposed to meet my father, Fenton Hardy, in the security office. Building 46A. Thank you. Maybe the answer is here at Alpha Tech. Tabor must have seen the flying saucer, too. I just hope so. At least that way we don't look like two space freaks. was following me. Who'd you think we were? Look, I deal with classified material every day, okay? Could have been anybody. You ever been followed before? Not on a lonely road, and not by a van, that's for sure. And you didn't see anything other than the van? Anything like what? A UFO? You're putting me on. He's not. He's quite serious. We saw it. You saw a flying saucer, both of you? Yeah, we did. Then your father has a bigger problem on his hands than Alpha Tech. Are you sure? Absolutely. What about one of the other stations at the coast? No, not in that either. All right, thank you. No weather balloons, huh? No meteors, no aurora borealis. Dad, Joe and I saw something. Maybe that's what Project K is all about. Flying saucers. It could be. I'll bet it has something to do with Alpha Tech. Do you remember Project Blue Book? Yes. The Air Force found no evidence to believe that flying saucers exist or were a conceivable development. Uh, it's getting late. You boys better hit the sack if you're going to pick up Tabor by six. You mean we're still on the case? <laughs> of course you are. I'd hate to tell you how many times in my career I lost the suspect I was following, and for what reasons. Thanks, Dad. Fenton, was that the boys driving off in the van again? Unless somebody just stole the thing right out of our own garage. But Fenton, they're going right back into those woods again. It's after midnight. I know. It took them a lot longer to make up their minds than I thought it would. He was somewhere right here. You don't have to remind me, I remember. Did you 
you bring the camera? Yeah, complete the fast film. Good. There are no signs of jet exhaust. talk to you. Listen, flesh and blood doesn't just disappear. Sometimes it does. I suppose you're going to want to go in there. We've come this far. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Welcome, Matt. Why do I have the feeling that wasn't an oversight? 